Hi guys, it's been a while, but we're back. Welcome to our latest project of the new year. We're here in Finchley, North London, and I can't wait to show you guys. But before we get into it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for all future luxury kitchen content. So the first thing I want to point out to you guys is this lovely island. So it's painted in Zoffany ink. We have a lay on shaker door and these lovely stainless steel knurled handles. So this is the backside of the island. It's pretty much just storage, uh, internal shelving, um, as you can see, the client hasn't used all of it because there's so much, uh, plates and bowls. But one thing you will notice that we don't often do is this lovely bonquette seating area at the end of the island. So this is again in this Zoffany ink colour and we have upholstered it, soft upholstered, so it's nice and comfortable to sit on uh, in this lovely blue uh, faux leather fabric. Uh, and underneath we've got cookbooks storage, so it's open so that the client can actually display her cookbooks. This is a spec for dining table. Uh, we actually bought these legs from Etsy um, and we made this tabletop in spec for a stained oak, which matches the dining table and the uh, pantry table, which you'll see on the other side. Coming around here, we have the main working side of the kitchen. So you'll notice that we've got this lovely hob area framed by tall units. The tall units actually have top boxes on top of them because we have such amazing ceiling height here that we didn't, we couldn't go straight to the ceiling with one door, so we had to put the top boxes on top. So here we have the freezer. This is then your main cooking area. So we've got Miele two-ring gas hob and a four-ring induction hob. Drawer storage below, so you've got normal drawers and then internal cutlery or utensil drawers. These are dovetail oak drawers, boxes. And then underneath we've got sort of deeper storage for pots and pans in what is a fairly normal configuration for us. Worktops are CRL white Carrara quartz, really nice subtle veining. And then here you've got this antique mirror splashback, uh, which is a really, really lovely feature. Extractor is built in above. You'll notice that what we've done is we've hidden all the gubbins internally here with this faux panel. And then above we've got shelf shelving either side. And then another wall unit, again, just, just high storage up to the ceiling. Then we come along to another tool unit. We have the fridge, uh, fairly normal with just a shelf above. This is quite an interesting detail here. So there was a beam uh, and a column that was sitting in the kitchen and it was coming literally behind this unit. So rather than completely lose the space, what we've done is we've built a very shallow carcass with internally shelved for spices, it comes really handy. Then the main working side of the, of the island, actually interesting to point out, we've got what we sometimes do, which is these internal uh, baking tray dividers. So we've got that in a base unit. Sometimes we do it above the oven. And really cool, the Fisher & Paykel dishwasher drawer. You've seen it in our showroom. Here it is in a client's home. Really, really smart. Two different drawers. You can put them on at separate times so you're not sort of half-loading a dishwasher and then putting it on every time and wasting energy and water. We also then have this lovely Axis Uno uh, from the 1810 company. It's a sink that is fully clad in stone on all four sides. Base is stainless steel though, because it's far more practical. And then we've got a Pro 3 Kuka Flex Tap. So normal hot and cold, pull out spray tap, and then as normal, boiling on one click. And then here we have the, the main cooking appliances. So we've got two Miele single ovens here, which is per perfect, plenty of cooking space and then a 300 mil pull-out larder. This is perfect for all your dried goods. They've got you know baking stuff and tahini and all that sort of stuff in here. And then we have what is always requested is some sort of pantry in a kitchen. So this is actually a dresser unit that's on a bifolding door. So you'll notice that, that pulls open here. And this is our normal breakfast sort of pantry configuration where we have a nice stone worktop matching the rest of the kitchen. This is actually a built-in Miele oven above, thick shelving, uh, we've got china, we've got mugs, sauces, etc., and toaster in there as well. It's really practical. And then we've got two deep drawers below this. You'll see, again, more food storage, more bottle storage. Really practical. Behind here is actually something we won't go into, but we did a utility room for the client, and that's coming off of the main kitchen on this sort of pocket door. And then finally, the last bit of the kitchen that I wanted to show you, we've done, as I showed you, the smaller breakfast bar table, which comes off the island. We've got the dining table again in this matching spec for stained oak. And then right at the back, we've got this lovely wine drinks area. So we've got a built-in wine fridge, storage either side, and then another stained timber top on top. That is it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
and don't forget to leave anything in the comments that you want us to address next time. Thanks.